Today we are going to discuss about graphite electrodes used in steel plants. Graphite electrodes are mainly used in electric arc furnace and ladle furnace. It is typically made using premium petroleum needle coke, coal tar pitch, and some additives. The graphite electrode has a diameter of 200 mm to 700 mm, and a length of 1800 mm to 3000 mm, available in market. Electrodes can be classified into four categories. 1. Regular graphite electrode. 2. High power graphite electrode. 3. Ultra high power graphite electrode. 4. Super Ultra High Power Graphite Electrode If we compare, copper electrode versus graphite electrode, we found that Melting point of graphite electrode is higher than copper. Liquid steel temperature is about 1550 degree centigrade to 1650 degree centigrade. So, copper has no use. Weight of graphite electrode is also low and easy to handle. Cost of graphite electrode is also lower than copper. Benefits of graphite electrodes High levels of electrical conductivity Graphite has a very high melting point, 4250 degrees centigrade. High mechanical strength Stable chemical properties Good vibration resistance Compared with copper electrode, lightweight and low cost. Just have a look how graphite electrode makes in factory. 1. Raw material. 2. Type of needle coke used which are made from petroleum and pitch. Needle cokes are stored separately after crushing and screening. 2. Mixing. The crushed and screened needle coke is mixed with binder pitch in a controlled atmosphere at the desired temperature. 3. Extrusion. The paste is cooled to the required temperature and extruded into the required size to make electrodes. 4. Baking. It is the process of carbonizing the binder pitch. Electrodes are baked slowly by heating up to 800 degrees centigrade to coke the binder pitch and remove volatile matter. 5. Impregnation. The removal of volatile matter makes the baked electrodes porous. To fill the pores, Ultra HP or Super HP electrodes are then impregnated with special pitch which improves the strength and resistivity of electrodes. 6. Rebaking. The electrodes are rebaked at about 700 degrees centigrade to coke the impregnated pitch. 7. Graphitization. Baked electrodes are heated up to 2800 to 3000 degrees centigrade, in electric resistance furnace, to concert carbon into a crystalline structure graphite. 8. Machining. The electrodes are machined to the required length and diameter. Nipples and sockets are threaded. 9. Inspection. Weight, length, and others' dimension and properties are measured. 10. Shipment Qualified electrodes are packed and shipped. Next topic is graphite electrode construction. Shape of electrode looks like. And this is thread of socket where nipple to be fixed. This one is safety line. And this is electrode nipple. Required to join two electrode. Torque wrench is used to tight the electrodes. So, how two electrode joints together can be visualized from this animation. So, next topic is electrode losses. Electrode losses can be dividing into three major reasons. 1. Side oxidation. 30 to 65 percent of total consumption due to side oxidation, which has no contribution in metal processing. 2. Tip loss. 
25 to 40 percent of total consumption due to this. 3. And an electrode breakage contributes 3 to 10 percent of consumption. So, what is side oxidation? The side loss of the electrode is due to the action of oxygen and graphite in the furnace gas to generate carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide. Below 400 degrees centigrade, it is low temperature oxidation, and the above is high temperature oxidation. When the temperature exceeds 550 to 600 degrees centigrade, the oxidation is intensified, and as the electrode temperature increases, the graphite oxidation accelerates. What is tip loss? Electrode tip loss includes electrode evaporation, molten steel absorption, and thermal spalling. Electrode evaporation is mainly caused by radiation and convection of high intensity arc. The molten steel absorbs, and the graphite is easily melted in the molten steel, therefore, both the short arc operation and the electrode impregnation, cause an increase in the electrode consumption. The electrode is thermally exfoliated, and the thermal peeling of the electrode is closely related to the thermal conductivity, thermal expansion coefficient, and elastic modulus of the electrode. And what is electrode break loss? Electrode breakage is an accident generally due to several reasons. Due to a large electromagnetic stress. Non-conductive scrap below the electrode. Thermal shock from arc, steel slag, and molten steel. Improper operation. Loose nipple joint between two electrodes. How to reduce side oxidation. 1. Water spraying. Water is sprayed to the surface of the electrode, through the spray tube ring. When water drops along the surface of the electrode, the surface of the electrode is isolated from the air, reducing the contact area between the air, and the surface of the electrode, thus preventing its oxidation reaction. At the same time, due to the continuous evaporation of water, the surface temperature of the electrode effectively decreases. We can reduce 7 to 9 percent in specific electrode consumption by water spraying. Two protective coating. Coating gives excellent and oxidation properties to graphite electrodes and reduces the specific consumption of graphite considerably. The protective coating consists of several layers typically three layers. The first two of them consist of aluminium alloys, with an aluminum content of more than 75%. The third layer consists of pure aluminium. The newly patented coating contains two further layers of metal and graphite. Total coating thickness ranges from 0.5 to 0.8 mm. The coating withstands temperatures over 1850 degrees centigrade and chemically destroyed only after many hours in the furnace. It is relatively impermeable to gas, and being semi-fluid, high aluminium layer, resistant to thermal shock. 20-35% to 35 of the current run through the protective coating due to its very high electrical conductivity. So. If we compare between ultra-high power and super-ultra-high power coating electrode, we found the reduction in oxidization in super-ultra-high power electrode. By using super-ultra-high power electrode, we can see the reduction up to 30%. Let's discuss about the electrode handling tools and tackles. Lift plug. Graphite lift plugs provide a safe and effective way of lifting and handling graphite electrodes and graphite electrode columns for transport to and from the furnace. Lifting hook. Lifting hook provide a safe and effective method for handling electrodes and electrode columns. Recovery tong. Auto latch recovery tongs provide a safe and effective method for recovering broken electrodes 
and electrode columns from the furnace. Electrode Recovery Ring Recovery ring provide, a safe, and efficient way of recovering broken electrodes, and electrode columns from the furnace. Torque wrench used for, tightness of electrode. Recommended joint torque shown here for reference. And last a very simple and general tips, to check the electrode regulation. 1. By arcing sound, an expert can identify, whether the regulation is good or not. 2. Electrode tips shape, also tells us the regulation status. Good regulation means lower electrode consumption. A tapered shape, of tip, towards outside of PCD is a symptom of good regulation. Due to electromagnetic flux generated by each electrodes, they repels each other, and a resultant force, formed, the tapered shape at tips. Thanks for watching. For more learning videos, please like, 